In this video, we are going to discuss about microprocessor components. There are three basic parts of a microprocessor, the CPU, the bus and the memory. Let's look at them in more detail. CPU is fabricated as a very large scale integrated circuit. The CPU or the microprocessor is nothing but a circuit, but the circuit has been minimized, minimized, minimized so that it can just fit on a single chip. So that chip is called a very large scale integrated circuit. These are the parts of a CPU. Instruction register. It holds the instructions, the user instructions that are given and that have to be kept so that the program can run according to those instructions. Decoder. The decoder converts the machine level language, the instructions and sends them to the arithmetic logic unit. That is what the decoder does. ALU or the arithmetic logic unit. The arithmetic logic unit will perform all the arithmetic operations and the logical comparisons. And finally, register. Register holds the intermediate results that are obtained during program processing. For example, I have given an instruction that 2 plus 3 plus 5 has to be done. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 that has to be stored somewhere and then 5 plus 5 will be done to obtain an answer of 10. So this is the register where the intermediate result will be held. Now let's look at a bus. You can see these fine thin lines that are connecting the different parts of the circuit. This is the bus. There are three types of bus. Data bus, they will carry the data to and from the memory. They are bidirectional. Why bidirectional? Because they have to take data to the memory and then bring the data from the memory. Address bus. Address bus is unidirectional. Why it is unidirectional? Because it carries the address of a memory location or a input output port from the CPU to the memory. So it will just tell the memory where what is the address. So it has to be unidirectional. The information is flowing in just one direction. Control bus. It is again bidirectional. Why? Because it carries control signals like clock signals, interrupt signals or ready signal. So a device has been accessed that okay the ALU say for example has been accessed that I want to send you some instruction or data then the ALU will send a ready signal that I am ready. So this bus has to be bidirectional. Memory. Finally the most important thing the memory of the microprocessor. There are two types of memory RAM or ROM. RAM random access memory. ROM read only memory. The RAM is volatile in nature that means when we switch off the power to the microprocessor whatever has been stored will just erased. ROM is non-volatile that means that even after the power has been switched off the whatever data is stored on it will be retained. The ROM is pre-programmed that means it is already storing most essential data like booting sequence by the manufacturer. Why? Because when we switch on the computer, then the computer needs to load the BIOS into the primary memory. That information, that BIOS is stored in the ROM. If it is stored in the RAM, then it will be erased. So we have learnt about the three basic components of the microprocessor. In the next video, we are going to cover the evolution of microprocessor.